<sighs> okay. Here we go. So, what is going on, Fire from Film Fan? Before we begin this video, you've read the title, so you can probably know what to expect, but just want to say quickly, yes, I've had a haircut, it's very short, I'm sure it'll grow back soon for those of you that like the fringe and whatever, but I like it. And I got braces. I might talk more about that soon because this video is specifically about something else, but yeah, they're not nice at all. But anyway, I'm going to talk to you about something that is quite important to me, and I thought the best way to tell you all is to start from the beginning of my story. Now, a few years ago, I started having these feelings and I didn't really know what they were, so I just kind of rolled with it. But I always felt different from everyone else around me. I felt kind of isolated. I started rolling with it, then a few people started second guessing that this might be the case. So I thought, right, I'm just going to distance myself from it. I'm not going to think about it, and maybe it'll just go away. But it still remained there. It was always in the back of my mind, even when I wasn't thinking about it. It was always there. And I did get teased at school for it, and I didn't know what to do. So. I didn't want anyone to know. Time went on and after about a year of sort of trying to avoid it and failing, I kind of just started to accept it with myself. But at this point I still did not want anyone else to know because unless you've gone through it yourself, you don't know how it feels. You feel like there's nothing you can do and you kind of ask, why was it me? that's not normal. Why couldn't I be the one to fit in with my friends and do the things they do, rather than be the way I am? <sighs> okay, um, but as time went on I became more comfortable with it and I started telling very close friends one by one. And each and every time I told someone, I felt so much better. It was then someone I could share in this secret with and I didn't have to feel alone anymore. And a lot of people were so encouraging. They encouraged me to be who I wanted to be. So a message for you all, no matter what you're dealing with and who you are, you deserve to feel like everybody else else because you are amazing and you are the best just the way you are. But anyway, I finally decided to tell my parents and try and explain and they didn't understand. They didn't get it. They did not know what to say at first, but now I think they're a bit more accepting of it. I guess it's just because no one in our family as I can recall has ever felt this way or been like this, so they didn't know what to do, but they accept it now. Okay, um, so as I got older, these feelings never went away, and then last year I met Jasmine, and she is incredible, you've all seen her, she is absolutely amazing. So I had to keep the secret, I had to keep it completely on the down low. How do you tell someone like her something like this? I don't know how I'd go about telling her, especially seeing as how close we were, so I didn't really know what to do. But then, in September, I thought, okay, I'll just come out with it and tell her. Pretty much everyone else already knew, but... I'm just gonna tell her. So I did, and apparently she already knew before I'd even told her, and that made me feel a bit stupid, but it made me feel happy as well because it meant that she then accepted me exactly as I am. So I guess now all I have to do is tell my audience, tell my YouTube viewers what I'm talking about. And I'm sorry that I've kept this from you for so long, some of you have picked up on it, some of you have said things, and You've all been great, and I guess I should just come out and say it, so I'm gonna say it. With all the feelings I've been feeling and the things I've been thinking about, I'm just gonna come out and say it and say that I am a YouTuber. I spent years trying to keep it covered because everyone at school teased me for it when they found out. I wasn't like everyone else, and no one understood. And that's why I could go to the internet and talk to like-minded people who understood the situation I was in. But I've accepted myself, I have Jasmine, my girlfriend in my life, my family, they're amazing, and my friends are just as awesome and just as accepting about this now. So that is my coming out tale. Uh, sorry to those of you who it was a shock, that I am in fact a YouTuber now, but I have been since the 4th of January 2011. <laughs> oh man. Just a quick disclaimer to anyone who's come out on YouTube in terms of their sexuality, I am so, so proud of you. You are amazing and I'm not taking the mick or making fun of in any way of anyone who's come out to be gay, bisexual. It was just an idea that I had and I thought it would be entertaining for you all to watch. To everyone who has come out there, Massive props to you, I don't know what that is. And congratulations to you because now for the rest of your life you can be who you want to be and you don't have to hide it. To any of you struggling out there, I will be happy to help you. If you want to tweet me then I will get back to you and try and help you with your problems. Okay, so I'm not gay. This was just like a little comedy sketch almost that I hope you enjoyed watching. And every single thing I said about that that made you believe that I might actually be gay or bisexual is completely true about YouTube. So I think that was the beauty of the idea of this video. The fact that I could be telling 100% the truth about how I tried to hide it from Jasmine, how my parents didn't understand, was amazing because it made you believe that maybe I was bisexual or gay, which would be totally fine if I was, but I'm not. And I love you, Jasmine, just to clear this up in case you saw the title and freaked out. <laughs> so thank you everybody for watching. I guess I could come up with the moral of the story. Whether you are gay or whether you do something that people don't understand, 
stand or whether you just feel a certain way about someone that makes people dislike you, don't worry about it because in 10 years, will it really matter? This is not supposed to be an inspirational video, it's a stupid map video, come on. Okay, so now the seriousness has passed, I just want to say a very big thank you for watching. If you could leave a like down below, that'd be amazing and I love you all. Yeah, quick update about the braces, they are actually horrible. I haven't eaten anything, I just live off of yogurt and things like that because I can't chew and it sucks, I can't even bite together. Talking is a struggle because I do sometimes expel spit onto people, like that little spit bubble that just went out of my mouth, and as well as that, it really aches and cuts the inside of your mouth so yippee and the haircut the haircut happened I don't know what this video was I just came up with the idea and I thought hey why not I know you guys are awesome enough to enjoy this video but everything I said in it was true so thank you to everyone who does support me in what I do and even though it is weird to talk to a camera it's nice to know that you're all there so thank you for watching everyone I will leave you with that and I will see you on Friday I love you all bye guys